Hello YouTube. So you decided to buy a 2021 or 2022 Toyota Sienna with the rear entertainment package. However, you don't have an Android tablet to do wireless streaming. This video is here to help you figure that out by using a Windows laptop. Let's get started. So first we're gonna go over to the laptop and figure out exactly how to configure and make sure your laptop is ready to wirelessly display to the rear entertainment system. So now on your Windows computer, press the Windows key and type in to the search bar, optional features, and then click on manage optional features on the drop down list. Now under optional features, click the add a feature button. You can also check under installed features if wireless display is already installed. If so, you can skip this next step. Type into the search bar wireless display and once it shows up, hit the check mark box to select it and then below click install. After waiting for the wireless display driver to be installed, you can now go back to the settings page, display, and go down to multiple displays. Below that, you'll see connect to wireless display. You'll be clicking this link here, which will bring up the connect sidebar. You can also press Windows K. Now that that's all set up, let's go take a look at the car and get that ready for connection. power on the car. And go take a look at the rear. With the car on, let's open up the rear door and open up the rear entertainment system. Here, we're going to want to grab our remote control. And put it on Miracast, waiting for your mobile device to connect. So now, let's skip over to the laptop. So, going to the laptop, <clears throat> we're on the display on the settings page. We're going to click connect to a wireless display. Now it's important to know you're going to need your Wi-Fi enabled in order to do this. So you'll click connect our display. Device found noted right there. Great. Now the display is connected, and you'll note that mine is connected in extended mode. You can move it into duplicate or various other functions just by clicking down on change projection mode. Extended is ideal for our next purpose here. Now that the computers are connected to the external rear entertainment system screen, you can open up a app of your choice. Let's start with Netflix here. Now remember, this app is currently on this screen, so in extended mode, you're gonna have to drag it over to the right, or sometimes the left, in order to bring it up there. Now my laptop is currently connected to the internet, but for those scenarios where you're driving on the highway and you don't have access to the internet, let's go over to the downloaded section my downloads and here you can play any loaded video that's saved to your laptop via the Netflix app on your rear entertainment system now this is an ideal setup because 
with the USB-C chargers, most small, thin laptops will be able to charge easily over USB-C. Or, if you need to, you can use the inverter. Now you'll note the sound is not currently on, and that's because we haven't enabled the audio in the car yet. First, you'll want to just make sure the volume's up on your laptop, and so here it is now at 100%. We'll now move over to the front of the car to enable the rear audio. You'll hit the audio button, move over to the source section, and hit rear. You'll note that it says rear mirrorcast, playing mirrorcast. You can adjust the volume, and there you are. Playing Coco Melon on a downloaded file from Netflix on your laptop using Miracast. I hope this helps. If that was helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up to stay tuned for my next videos. Take care.